Hi, everyone. My name is Nate Pickford, and uh, I'm a professor here at American Public University. I have a PhD in environmental science, and I work in the wildlife field. And uh, I'm here today to talk to you about this class, uh, EBSP201, which is environmental economics. And you might ask, you know, what does wildlife have to do with environmental economics? And the reality is environmental economics is a really important tool for um, both wildlife management, but as well as conservation. And so let me talk to you about a few of these things and, and maybe you'll have a kind of a good perspective of how important a tool this, this subject in this class can be. Now, environmental economics kind of fits in the middle of these, these aspects of social environment and economics. Um, now we all, you know, traditional economics just was all about the economic piece, maybe a little bit of the social uh, aspect, but the reality is if you mix social, environmental and economic, right in the middle is a sweet spot, which is sustainability. And that's what environmental economics is trying to do. We know we need growth and production and, and uh, we want to use resources in a way that's sustainable. And environmental economics is a tool to figure out how to do that effectively. And uh, it, it identifies problems and comes up with ideas to create solutions for those problems. It's a really good uh, basic understanding of economics to help us solve problems, both in the environmental field, as well as uh, in the conservation and wildlife field. Now, we have some course outcomes, uh, and these course outcomes are obviously, um, you know, very, very important foundational pieces for understanding environmental economics. You know, we'll teach you things like cost benefit analysis, how to value ecosystem services, or even organisms. Um, different components of this class gives you tool sets that you can then la use later on in life. And I mentioned this before, this class is about um, getting foundational knowledge so you can identify problems and identify solutions. And so a lot of these course outcomes are built upon just getting those foundational components so you can use this subject, environmental economics, in any uh, you know, future career that you have. Um, and really, environmental economics is really important tool to understand climate, energy production, recycling, how to manage habitat and uh, national parks or all of these different components. Environmental economics is a really, really great tool for that. So uh, there is no prerequisites for the class and it's pretty, you know, it is a 200 level class. So, you know, you need to, it's nice to have a little bit of environmental knowledge. And I always think it's nice to make sure you understand what is the value of the dollar. Like how, how does that put into framework the rest of the economics? And we talk about that a little bit in the class. Where you'll go from here is most likely to the wa uh, water science or soil science, maybe even environmental ethics. And then from there, you'll go in and start identifying your concentrations, whether that's general uh, environmental tech, fish and wildlife uh, planning or sustainability. Regardless, this class is a very important class to build upon for any of these concentration areas. And uh, obviously I'm very excited about environmental economics. I think it's a really useful tool. And uh, once you take class, I think you will as well. I uh, am excited to have you in the class and I, uh, I hope we get a ch chance to have uh, meet in other classes as well. So um, have a great day.